Xin chào, what's up everybody? How we doing out here? My name is Chris, my channel is Fat and Broke. I am fat and broke. I live in Vietnam, Saigon specifically, a sprawling metropolis here in Southeast Asia. A lot of my videos are about my daily life here in Vietnam. I also travel around a little bit. Let's get into it. I am a daily YouTuber and I am a proficient live streamer as well. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the rain. Not really, we're gonna talk about pet ownership inside of, which way do I wanna walk? Pet ownership, bringing your pets over, what it's like having pets here, problems it causes, dogs and cats in Vietnam and Saigon specifically. So first things first, getting your dogs here, there's a whole service for that. There's quite a few of them online. I don't have one that I particularly used. It is possible. Of course, it's going to be way easier to get a lap dog over here than a big dog. Uh, the big dogs can be in excess of six thousand U.S. dollars to get here. It is possible to get a big dog here. If the homie here in Da Nang is watching, can you drop some information about your uh, adventure of getting your big dog here? I forgot your name, bud. I'm terrible with names. But your adventure with bringing your big ass dog over. I think he, he spent like six grand getting his dog over. So the smaller the dog, the easier. It is totally possible to get all pets over though, cats and dogs. There is a whole new inconvenience behind owning dogs though in Saigon, in Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam, even though there's a shit ton of dogs and it's like technically pet friendly, They've got really weird rules about stuff and like there's a weird rule thing with most of the apartments and they're mostly anti-dog but to that end no one follows any kind of rules here so like no one actually follows like if you're in an apartment complex where you're not supposed to have dogs nobody fucking cares pardon my French nobody fucking cares and nobody does like golden river the last place i lived before the place i live in now everybody had pets and it's like a totally no pet place everybody had pets as you know i have three animals now i have three dogs i have two vijan fris vijan fris puppies and i have one uh toy mini poodle like a really really small 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 mini poodle So, I am actually a person coming to you from experience with pets. It becomes not harder to rent an apartment. Actually, you're going to be surprised about what I'm about to say. Actually, you can get an apartment anywhere. You know, everybody, if somebody wants a dog, they're going to have it. They don't really care. This is, it goes hand in hand with kind of everything here, though. It's part of the reason why you love or hate Vietnam as well, Saigon. Is, is all of that. But for the most part, if you want a pet, like my neighbors at Golden River had a dog, no problem, I didn't care. You know, if you're in a new complex, you're not gonna hear the dog. Like if it's built within the last 10 years, you're not gonna hear it, so who cares? Like, But since there is this no dog policy, people are like kind of secretive with their dog and people tend to clean up after their dog. And you don't see anybody walking their dog like, they're super crazy about trying to find people with dogs, oddly, like in all these places, but it doesn't really do anything because Vietnamese will just ignore you. Now to the catch side, I do know some expats that moved here and got kicked out of their apartments at a dog friendly apartment because their dogs barked all the time. And it was in an older Vietnamese apartment complex and the neighbors could hear it and you have to evacuate in 10 days if you get an official. Like if you can prove and get the police involved and then get whoever owns the thing to sign off, like it's 10 days here and you're done. Like there's no fighting it, no procrastinating it. It's 10 days and then they can forcefully make you leave. So, hold on, let me switch batteries. So forcefully leave, switch batteries. All right, we are back. So as I was saying, lovely fatties, great place. Kid. As I was saying, you can have pets anywhere here. All the places that say you can't have a pet, you can actually 
have a pet. It's not a problem. Uh, it's just dependent on how you are, how you take your dog out. Like, there were zero problems in uh, Golden Rivers with it. So, I mean, I don't think you would have too many problems. Maybe if you were coming in and out with the dog like 10 times a day. It depends on what kind of dog you have, too. Like, of course, a cat, you're not going to have any problems. You can have a cat anywhere. I wouldn't. If you got a cat, your video's done. You can have them anywhere. Even if they're not allowed, just bring your cat, clean up after it, don't be ridiculous. Cats are fine. Dogs, like I said, like we were talking about before I switched batteries, uh, you know, you can get kicked out of a place in 10 days if somebody complains, if a neighbor doesn't like your dog. Like my friend that had their, their dog at Vinholm Central, the people could only hear the dogs when they opened their door. Like they just had some shitty neighbors, like, for the most part, you're not gonna have, like, who cares? Like, if I have a neighbor where I open my door to go out and I hear a dog bark, and it's still inside their apartment, not that loud, why the fuck would I care? What's up, bro? How you doing, man? So, I mean, like, what would I, what would I care? How's that affecting me? But, some people are dicks like that. So you're, there is no on your side for dogs here. District 2, since it's the expat district, is super friendly towards dogs. So another really good reason why you'd want to live in District 2. Fantastic choice of, of place to live, by the way. But another reason why you'd want to live in District 2, so there's just a lot more dog-friendly places. Same in District 7. All the suburbs are good for dogs. There's only one apartment complex, like in District 1, that officially allows pets and that's the mark and that shit's a, a waste of money like it's barely as nice as golden river for like almost twice the price and the location of it in district one is terrible like you've only got one entrance point to get into the apartment complex it doesn't make sense there's not even a 7-eleven around it like so it's definitely more difficult to find a apartment for the most part, if you got a dog, you're probably just gonna rent an apartment where they don't allow dogs and be respectful with it. Put it in a bag when you're in the elevator for the walks. And you're not gonna run into any problems because that's what all the Vietnamese do. So as far as I'm concerned, pretty easy. If you've got a big dog, that's gonna be a problem. You're gonna have to find a pet friendly apartment. So you're gonna be living in district two or district seven, or you're gonna be living in a like a person's custom owned condo that they're renting out. So like maybe a condo in an old Viet apartment. So those are gonna be your options. You're gonna get more limited with the bigger the dog. The smaller the dog, the easier. All of our dogs are like a couple pounds. Like the mini poodle is less than a pound a pound. And the Bichons are like three pounds each, four pounds each. So they're super, super small. So once you start getting bigger dogs, and then maybe if you need a dog that walks a lot, you're certainly gonna need a like openly uh, dog accepting apartment. Cause you're gonna be going in and out, in and out, in and out. Like, only one of my dogs really even likes to even walk. Like one of my dogs. The other two don't even like to even walk. They're like, fuck the walk, I don't wanna walk. Like, get me out of here. They don't even want to. So it depends on the dog and if it's like a walk dog, like I didn't know Bichons were like pretty much bred for being lap dogs for the French. So it's a pretty popular breed here and they're pretty domesticated to just chilling and not doing much here. So we got lucky all three of our dogs are just lazy ass chillaxers, you know? They like to relax, they like to chill. So for us, it was pretty easy having them. In the spot now we're in a spot you know where you can have dogs so i just have them all in the elevator with me i don't care but there's ways around all that stuff you know what I'm saying? so many johns so hard to be living up in asia boys and girls <laughs> And, and like I said, any other pets, uh, I wouldn't say anything. If you're going to rent an apartment that doesn't allow pets, don't say anything, don't mention anything. 
Even if you are gonna rent an apartment that allow pets, I wouldn't say anything. Just rent the apartment. Whatever. You can have your own thoughts on that, but landlords can get really stupid when they they, they think you have a dog that's like gonna destroy their entire apartment. So if you do have a dog like that, then you need to fix whatever damage your dog causes. You know, I'm the king of getting deposits back on, on my apartments. I have been for 20 years. And it's always the same way. You know, return the apartment how it was uh, accepted. And prove that it was the same way it was when you rented it. And you'll always have uh, good fortune with that. You won't have any problems whatsoever. As far as I'm concerned, I don't know that there's too much more to add. And like I said, cats, I mean, everybody had cats in Golden River. Everybody had dogs too. They just use these like dog backpacks. Ooh, we got clapping ahead of here. These dog backpacks where you can like see through the bag. Like a lot of the live streamers with a, uh, with a, uh, a live view, not a lot. Like Ice Poseidon's backpack right now is a dog bag. It's like made for Southeast Asia. You can see through it. So all these holes for like breathing and stuff. So yeah, if you if you need a specific place, you're going to be looking at D2, District 7. Those are the real two hot spots for having pets with pet friendly buildings. If you've got one little dog that doesn't make a lot of noise, then I think you're going to be perfectly fine renting anywhere. And if you're smart and you put your dog like essentially just hide it uh, when you're uh, going out, you'll have no problem. That is the video. Thank you for watching. Stay frosty. See you on the next one. Peace out.